Hello, John Neal here, sign writer, chalkboard artist. Um, welcome to another YouTube clip of uh, sign writing. I hope you like the haircut, by the way. It's from Frankie the Barber, and I'm going to do a board for him now. In fact, this is one half of it. It's an A board. For that I mean, it's a board that sort of stands on its own on the pavement outside of his uh, uh, premises. And uh, Frankie, um, nice name, Frankie. Sort of Frankie and Benny feel to it. So. I'm going to do Frankie in quite loose writing and then keep the rest fairly tight. As for colours, it's got to be red, really, red and white. And uh, probably get that pole in as well, you know, with the, the spiral of red around it. Which I am told, if this is true, I don't know, is to do with the blood and bandages of many years ago. When barbers used to do more than just cut hair, they used to cut people. <laughs> either intentionally or for surgical purposes. Goodness gracious. Right, so um, this is the way it goes. Uh, I'll do this in a second. Um, of course, you've got the website um, of mine which, uh, from which you can buy a full length video. Uh, two videos, in fact. Introduction to chalkboard art and more chalkboard art. And if you go to my website, which is there, you can um, go there and easily buy them. They're a downloadable version. Don't send anything through the post. Immediately you pay ten dollars, um, then you've got the uh, the download for you. So let's get on with that. Uh, first things first, of course. Um, what could be more English than a cup of tea in an American mug? Thank you, Tom in Indiana, for the mug, by the way. Hmm. Very nice English tea. I've got to think about English. You see, English tea, very English. Um, it's from China or India. A lot of other things too. Still, uh, here we go. Let's get uh, going. First of all, let's mark out what uh, we're going to do. Right, across here, I'm going to put Frankie sort of on an angle like that. Frankie. And then, all it needs to say then, <coughs> this by the way is my sheet that I've jotted out 40 once. Uh, Frankie the Barber at VIP, that's the premises he's at. Gents cuts from five pounds, put this pole in. Right, Frankie the, I'm going to put Barber across in nice clean writing. That'll do there. Um, gents cut, that's got to be fairly big. Obviously it's the Barber that's going to be a gents cut, but um, we can go back to some script like that. Gents cut from, and then a nice big five. It's also important for me to put on my magic apron from which I get all my powers. Um, copies of this can be bought framed or on canvas. The modest price for mod, modern art lovers. Right, here we go. Now then, let's, uh, I've used this brush. It's uh, three quarters of an inch. Frankie, quite loose. And then it will be edged with uh, some shadow of red. So let's go. Small pen.
I've done a few bits here and I've uh, just widened these down strokes. I'll cross that bit out and tidy up later. <clears throat> but bar the word barber here you'll see is sort of greyish because the first white hasn't gone and completely covered the black. But I'm going to use that to now, and I'll show you on this letter A here, just to give a highlight to the top half. So, so far down and three little dots. If we do that right across, it just puts a decorative highlight to the letter. I'm going to put this pole in and I'm going to go over this letter R. You see I've tidied up most of the other things as well, a bit of white and a bit of black as well. Now then, um, I should possibly have done this first and put the R on the top, but we can still get away with it. So I'm going to just clip this as well and I will go down here. And I'm using the pen, I think it uh, goes the distance better than a brush. So let's just go down there. And you can see you get a sort of a overlap. Let me put some light on this side of it. I'll just turn the pen and do it. Right, I've tied this pole up and now I'm going to put the red on. I'm using a red uh, pen. And uh, what you need to do, I'm just showing a bit of paper, is to basically put the pen on there, pull it across, and go back down. So don't move, just hold it vertical next to this edge and then just travel around the corner on the other one and get them evenly spaced. It's important to get a highlight on this red otherwise it's just flat. Just at this point down here, just touch with the pink first and when that's dry, it's an extra white. I put two coats of varnish on there and I'm now going to go back over this letter R with this and hopefully the red will stay where it is. Let's see what happens. A trick I've shown before of course is to make this stand out by putting a black outline around it. Nice and effective. I've got to do all this on the other side, on the other board, so I'll make sure I put this uh, pole down first and do this right in afterwards. And now for the red shadow around Frankie. As I said before, the light's appearing to come from here, so the shadow will be on the left and underneath. And I'm going to use this brush and a consistent angle. Notice it's done quite quickly to get a smooth line. So on the, all these bottom corners, I'm now going to put this pink. It's just a mixture of the red and white. You might notice on each new shot, it's looking a little bit sharper. Well, there is a reason for that. I am always going over and just tidying up one or two bits and pieces where I might have missed the mark to get it as neat as I want. Okay, now with a regular white pen I'm just going to put a, a flash of highlight down here. It's sort of a trademark of mine and it comes from the canal boats of England, Britain, and uh, they make quite a thing of decorating the shadow. Here the shadows hit the white, I don't want to do that. So let me just take that out and tie that up. There we go. 
I think all needs to be done now is to put the white right line round. Here are the boards and this is the frame. I've done the boards first, it makes it easier to move around. And then these boards, of course, just now screw onto this frame. That's one face put on. Now we just turn it around and put the other one on. you notice the hinge, it's the first time I've done it this way, I've put these two here and a long screw that goes right through here, partly through here, same that side. Well I might take this outside and show you but it's raining. Anyway, it looks, uh, quite, I'm quite pleased with that. Um, these need tidying up with a, bit, a dab of black paint and uh, a rope going across between the two uh, uh, parts there. The whole lot folds over, pretty flat, pretty good. So I'm pleased with that. By the way, you do have to chamfer off these edges, otherwise it won't open properly just there. But uh, that's not too bad. Okay, there we have it, Frankie the Barber. Thanks for watching and for subscribing to my videos. Over 700 subscribers now and the digital video is flying off its digital shelf somewhere in, out in there in the ether so um, if you do want to go to uh, buy that like I say go to my website there's more details on the end of this anyway thank you very much for watching see you again next time bye bye